and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Abby and this is my, my channel about life, being a mum and beauty. Now today is going to be my first proper video and I thought what better way to kick it off than to do a clothing haul. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of a baby clothing haul which is what it was meant to be to start with. Um, but then I ended up getting some stuff for myself so I kind of thought why not just mix it up and just do them together. And don't forget, if you like the content I will be making, then don't forget to subscribe and just keep following what I post. Now, the first um, clothing company I will start with will be my favourite. So I'm a massive Primark shopper um, and I've always shopped there. Like I used to dress really head to toe in Primark. I never used to really touch anything else. Um, but as I've got older, I've kind of just changed it up a little bit. Now, I'm currently wearing one of the ones that I got, saying love is the answer. Um, so this top was £4 and I also got two in the same kind of style. So this one says bad vibes don't go with my outfit. I thought that was quite cute but really it's just because it's a black top. And then this one is a one of a kind. Now to be honest with you, most of the stuff I might have worn already. Having a baby it wasn't easy to do the clothing haul straight after I bought all the stuff. So it's actually a couple of days old. Um, now all these tops are in a size extra small which is like a 6 to 8 um, So I haven't actually been in a 6 to 8 since probably way before I started working at a supermarket And also when I got my partner, both of the things happened at the same time So it's kind of like an overwhelming ball of put on weight um, Obviously I'm not working at the supermarket anymore But um, it was just at that time um, I obviously put loads of weight on And then when I left I actually compared the photo from when I started to when I left my I put on a lot of weight um, But weirdly since having a baby um, I did lose a lot of weight But I will explain why in maybe another video so you just have to keep looking and see why that happened so next I have some similar tops but they were a different price. These ones were only £2.50 each and they're like in the folded up bit that you usually get. You know you get like the big little, anyway. Um, so these ones are this one with a daisy on it and obviously daisy's written on the stem. And then this one says stress doesn't go with my outfit. I mean I don't know what this new trend is with the new, with the whole um, doesn't go with my outfit. But hey, again white top works for me. Don't really wear white, I always go for black so thought it'd be good to change it up a little bit. Um, again, they're both in a size small. So basically, I went once and um, I found a couple of this, and then I ended up going again a couple of days later. And the reason was because of these trousers. So they're like a flared bottom, and then just like a nice ruffly top, and then little drawstrings. Um, so basically, because I'm so short, I never really find stuff that looks nice in flared. And um, so when I do find something that's nice in flared, I do try and take advantage of it and go get some more. So when I got these, um, they were like a creamy kind of colour behind it. Um, so I went back a couple days later and did try and look into them. Unfortunately, they weren't there, which is usually what happens with Primark. Um, but I do love these ones. Um, so these are in a size 8. And again, they usually probably wouldn't fit me, but again, because of the whole weight loss thing. So these are the trousers that you're just about to see. They're like pretty much to my ankles. And then the same with grey top. And the same with black top. I found these so I've got a pair they're like more like not flared but they're like a little bit like they're really thin material and they're just like a little bit more um, like airy I suppose not hairy airy um, but yeah anyway um, so these are all this one's in a size 8 and they're just like a nice stripey just really nice for like not like too um, full on but they're just like nice and easy um and then you've got these ones which are like a mustardy color these ones are also in a size eight and again they've just got like the casual bottoms and they're all folded and then these ones so you know when you get like a sale rail and they're all like bundled together but really you only see like a size four which by the way i think is absolutely ridiculous i have no offense to people that wear a size four but i do believe that the, the size has kind of moved up and they added this size four but i don't think that it does well for the whole um Body image thing i don't think a size four is a woman's size i think the size four really you could probably match to uh the children's size i don't know i think it's 12 to 13 that's the highest um but yeah i, I don't know about that but anyway uh, these ones were in size six and i kind of thought mm, i'm really gonna be pushing it to get a size six so i said to my friend who i went with the second time i was like mm, do you really think that they'll be all right like do you think they're stretchy enough um and we were like do you know what we'll just get them and see um so these are those ones again they're like a chain pattern I suppose and the same with the bottoms there um so all of these trousers were four pound i'm a sucker for a sale rail so these were all in that in that one so then you have these ones which again they're a bit see-through and also i wouldn't be wearing bright pink pants on them um 
but I like the company they're just a bit maybe tighter than I hoped but yeah and then one of the £2.50 tops so then you have these ones which were the size 6 which as you can probably tell because they're quite um, tight but I think because they're black you kind of get away with it a bit more so they're like okay so finally I have some accessories, so I like these lovely little clips you can get, as you can see I've already used some. And I've also actually used some that came back from my curtains, maybe like little hanging bits that go around the curtains and then you meant to put them onto like a little hoop. Well I don't have the hoops, so I just literally wrap them around and then hopefully get around with one of the little clips. DIY. Then I have these shoes. So I've been seeing other people wearing these as well and I quite like the look of them but I didn't know whether they would look nice on me. Um, so again, they were only £4 so I thought, you know what, why not? And I got those and then also there was a lot of like obviously because of the coronavirus the summer stuff kind of hasn't sold so I've obviously got a lot of stock in that doesn't that hasn't sold because obviously due to the fact that it's um now winter um so then I got these which they actually say six pounds but they weren't they were three pound and I did check my receipt and they definitely were three pound I'm not I didn't have a moment which sometimes happens um but they did have them in black as well but the black weren't in my size so I'm a size four in shoes so both of these are a size four so moving on to the baby stuff from Primark so like I said I did um, have to do these a couple of days later um so some of the stuff has already been worn but I just kind of put it back in and I'll just explain how they, as I'm going along. I'm obviously not going to try this stuff on him because it's a bit funny about the whole baby on camera thing, but we'll see how that goes eventually. Um, so what happened was, I basically got given loads of stuff when um, we had opening, or before we had opening, um, and most of it was, I thought, throughout the sizes. Um, so it turns out that when he grew out of his newborn stuff a couple of days ago, um, it turns out that we had hardly not any not three. So basically I was like, right, I'm going to need to go get some stuff because none, none of it was really like suitable for him to wear now. Like it was kind of, you know, dungarees and stuff like that, which I would prefer him to be in like baby clothes and whatever for now, just while he's little and make him look little for as long as I possibly can because I know how quickly it's going to go. Um, so anyway, we went and got some Nauts 3, um, which turns out it's actually a bit too big and we need Nauts 1, which we did get some stuff in, but literally the Nauts 1 just about fits and the Nauts 3 is slightly too big, but it won't take long for him to fit into it. But anyway, we've got these. It's just literally three little vests. They're short sleeved, no leg vests, and no £2.80, which is just a bargain. Um, then we got some pyjamas, so as you can see, some of them are cars, and some of them have got like fire trucks and stuff on them, and yeah, he's worn both of those and thrown up on both of them within about five minutes of wearing them, but hey, they're pyjamas, they're cute, they're easy to change his nappy in overnight, whatever, um, and they were, sorry, they were five pounds, as you can see. Then I have these little, I think these are so cute, I'm not going to lie, but these little outfits. This one says Mama's main man and then this is just like your standard outfit really. And I think they were both the same price. Yeah, they were both £2, so they're little sets. And then they've got little shorts that match, which are really cute. Obviously, again, probably not going to wear them until more than two to three month mark, but for now, they're there, so whatever. Um, then we have some sleep suits. These are uh, long arm, long leg suits. Um, these are six pound fifty, and there were three of those in there. Um, again, because they're not, because they're slightly too big, I haven't actually got these ones out yet. But I have got these ones out, as you can see. It's empty. So these ones were like, um, these ones said like daddy's sidekick on some of them, um, on one of them. And then the other ones had like dogs on them. And then the other one is one that he's wearing now. It's covered in dogs. Um, but yeah, those were £6.50, but they were in the 0 to one size. So like I said, the 0 to one size literally just about fits him now. So that is what we are going with for now. And then hopefully eventually he will fit into all of the 0 to 3. So going back to me for a second, um, these trousers... Now, I'm always looking for like flared trousers, but as I said earlier, usually you can't find long flared trousers in um, the right sizes, which you'll actually see from some other stuff that I bought in a minute. Um, but basically, uh, one of my friends were going into um, Marks and Spencers, which I would never usually get anything from or even pay any attention to, but I clocked these. They're like a uh, fabric-y, really stretchy kind of, they're quite heavy material, but you know that that's usually quite a proper material. Um, but they're just like a flared bottom um, trouser. Um, and I noticed that M&S did like short um, in the trouser sizes so obviously they have short regular and then long and obviously that is handy for me because that means that these uh, fit perfectly um, so again these are in a size 8 these are those Marks and Spencer trousers so as you can see they're like quite good for my legs and they're nice around the waist a hug on the bum 
they're just generally really nice and then you've got this daisy top as well so next up I have like the supermarket shops and um, so I'm going to do all those together for the baby stuff um, because basically what happened was me and Jake went to um, Sainsbury's to start with because one of my other mum friends said that she had basically been there so we went down there and had a little look um, and most of the stuff was kind of like um, the stuff that's got like labels on it so like I'll show you for example some of the stuff that's here and it makes it more expensive so we were hoping that there was going to be a lot of sale stuff but unfortunately there wasn't that much by the time we got there because it was in the evening um, but then a couple of days later we went to Primark and got all the stuff from before and then we went to see Jake's dad and his wife and found out that they had both separately been to Morrison's and Tesco email so we've basically got like a whole bundle of supermarket stuff but it's all really nice so this the first one is um Sainsbury's so you've got some little tractor socks um because there is uh, that is what's missing there was one thing that was missing and I could not work out what it was I couldn't remember what it was but now I know what it is I have it this was one of the tops that were missing I knew there was something but I couldn't think of what it was so this just has a little tractor on it which makes sense more tractor socks tractor so jake's obviously very agricultural and um, he likes all that kind of stuff so that was perfect jake saw this and was like he's got a tractor on it i'm having it he could have a tractor on anything and we'll be buying it so like i said the socks as well um and then we've got some um again some short sleeve bodysuits and again these ones didn't fit which is why there's one shoved back in there for now but these ones were quite big obviously you've got to remember that these are meant to go up to when they're three months so they've got to go for the higher end i suppose and then they grow into it but um yeah they were six pound fifty and there's five in there so that's not so bad um, so then we have all like the labeled stuff that i was on about so first of all you've got this paddington one and um, so my little sister lucy she is eight and she likes paddington so she calls herself aunt lucy to oakley um, and we went out for food yesterday and Oakley wore this one and she absolutely loved it. Um, it is a, a little vest um, and it is in a 0-3. I can't actually remember how much it was but because the label's off already because he's already worn it. They're amongst all the rubbish and I have no idea. It was like probably like £6 I think because of the label on it. Um, so then you've got this Gruffalo one which again is really really cute. Um, it was £9. And again, in 0 to 3, these are quite thick, so I don't mind that they're a bit bigger because obviously then they'll last a bit longer. Um, and then you have this Peter Rabbit one, which I think was £9 as well. Again, it's like a really thick material. It's like a nice bluey colour and it's a full baby grow and also in 0 to 3. So next up we have um, the stuff from the Morrisons, which is the nutmeg range. Um, so um, we have two little shops in our local area. Um, they're like a 10 minute drive uh, there's a little Morrisons and a little Tesco's um, so this stuff um, you can get from our local Morrisons we do have a lot of the nutmeg range already because it has come from there and it's easy to get to and the Morrisons store has more baby stuff than the Tesco store does the Tesco doesn't really have that much baby stuff you have to go to Lee Mill uh, for the baby stuff it's a bit easier um, so these are some little nutmeg socks and they're three pound so some of the stuff, obviously I won't know the prices of because it was bought for us. It's only because this is literally printed right there that I can see it. Um, but as they're gifts, we're not fussed about how much it was. It's more to let you guys know. Um, so yeah, there's a pack of socks there. And then they're in 0-6, which is a bit nicer because they will last a bit longer. And then you've got some nice tops and some matching trackies as well. I love a little tracksuit. Um, so these are all in 0-3 and these were all picked by... Amanda, who is Jake's dad's wife, and she is Nandy to Oakley. So that's these. So next up, we have the stuff from Tesco. Um, so like I say, this stuff all came from Tesco Lee Mill, which is a big shop because our Tesco doesn't have very much stuff. Um, so these were all bought by Jake's dad. Um, these are some just short sleeve bodysuits. They were six pound fifty for five, and again, they're in up to three months, which is pretty much the same as the month for free anyway. So these ones is a little uh, double set and it has dogs in it. Now Malcolm has two cockapoos and he absolutely loves dogs, so that's probably why he picked up these. Um, then we have uh, this dinosaur set, which is a little jumper and a little pair of trackies again. Oh my god, that's a bit cat. And again, that's a bit up to three. Uh, we've got a be happy and smile top. We have got some leggings. So we actually said that he only went for these ones for this, because he actually thinks these ones are horrible. There we go. And again, the price is on them, but I'm not going to make a massive deal out of them, they are gifts. Um, so this one is a full suit and it's got your cars on it and then you've got a little nine suit as well and again they're in up to three months 
so last but not least of the baby stuff there's two more things that i need to go through um and that is it for oakley stuff but don't worry because there's a little bit left so these were bought from jake's stepsister lauren um they're handmade i don't know who by it just says whiffle pigs i think that must be the company that they were made by but she did say that she was going to get these for us um and they are in a six to nine months i believe they're a bit of a bigger size because they we wanted them to last a bit longer and so they're from her and then um oakley's nan oakley's nandy thought that she would get these to go with that so they actually look like really proper little tops they're like really fancy like grown-up tops so they are in that will tell me what size the trousers are hang on yeah three to six so that the those leggings are in three to six as well and then some little matching socks to go with that last but not least um jake's nandy and grumpy got actually a um wean starter kit it just happened to be that all this stuff is on offer in next at the moment um so he has got two non-tip non sip non-tip non-spill whatever they're called cups let me look spill proof that's what i mean uh cups so there's a green one and a blue one and obviously these mean that when they tip them up they don't go everywhere and um, so obviously he's not going to be using this stuff quite yet but it's quite handy to have um so then we've got some bowls which stick to the bottom of a um chair then we have two packs of these spoons so these spoons are quite clever because if they are the normal color that you can see there then they are fine to be used um, but if they go white on the tips, it means the food's too hot, which obviously then means you're not going to give it to the baby. So next up, I have a shop from Sheen. Now, this is one that did come a couple months ago, but I thought actually, as I'm doing a clothing haul anyway, and most of it hasn't been worn yet, I thought I might as well just put it all on there as well. Um, so I don't remember all of the prices, but I can always um, add the prices and stuff um at a later date um so with sheen i was a bit apprehensive because i know that it's a, a company that can sometimes be funny with sizes and stuff especially with it coming from china but i actually watched another youtuber who's local to me um and she got some stuff from there and i was actually quite like Do you know what i might as well just give this a go and just see what happens um obviously my sizing like i've said has changed anyway so i was a bit like we'll just give it a go and just see what happens and if for some reason it doesn't uh, fit i can put the like sizes that i think they are um, and then get rid of them to somebody else. Um, so for starters, I have two dresses. So this one's like a daisy dress and it's got like the little ties that you do up yourself on either side. Then you've got the sheen dress. So with this, you can obviously hide the back straps and have it up, or you can have it over like that, which is how you're meant to have it and tie it up. Or you can obviously just hide the straps. Uh, you can have strapless bra, so this is a nice thin bra, so it's not really gray. Um, yeah, you can hide the straps or have a strapless bra or actually I will no bra with this one um, and they're actually just really nice fitting and they do have like zips obviously that means that you can um, make sure they're like really nice and hugging and get them in exactly the right place. Then the next dress is this one. So again it's got flowers on it as well um, but it's a bit of a different design so it's just your standard strappy dress. Then you have this one which has got like a nice little side slit there but again it's you know it's all right this one's a bit more like mm, this one's my least favorite out of the two but it's still okay like it's just got normal straps so it's quite again hugger figging and hugger figging figure hugging i mean and again it's got like the little zip there so it keeps it nice and in so next up is this dress so this one's actually bought off my uh, i bought this one off my friend because she ordered it and again had trouble to the sides and she has also lost a lot of weight but she's lost much more than i have um but yeah this is like a little top bit there and then it's got like a gap and that bit but it will look better if i put it on um again maternity bra then nursing bra not great um this bit's like a bit slightly baggy maybe um but generally it's all right it's quite nice again maybe for going out or whatever you can kind of because it's all rouged anyway you can kind of rouge up as much as you need to kind of get rid of any insecurities <laughs> but yeah this one's quite nice 
So next up, I got some co-ord sets. This is the stuff that like comes together in the first place. Um, so these trousers and this top. Now these are like the paper waist trousers. Um, and I think they're actually, oh, I've got it around the wrong way. <laughs> this goes this way. Um, and then it's got obviously the little drawstring thing around the outside and then this top as well. And then you've got this one, which is the trousers and the top set. The top's a little bit thin uh, for my liking. It's kind of like no shape to it or anything like that. Um, the trousers are like all right, but they're not like, they're not very flattering, I don't think. It's got a little tuck up as well. Um, but yeah, and then again, because I'm so short, they're just a bit long. But maybe with a pair of heels or something, they might be all right. But yeah, this is really then I've got this, like, another co-ord set. It's got the little band band-aids called top. And then um, a really long skirt. So, again, I'm quite short, so obviously this stuff always looks longer on me than anybody else. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the, like, burgundy two-piece. So, again, it's, like, a bit too long for me, really. And it doesn't go with socks. And, obviously, with a um, and bra, it's not gonna look that great but generally and um, with normal pants um, but generally it's all right like I've just had a baby I suppose so it looks okay um yeah this would be a nice one for like maybe going out or a nice meal or something kind of you know, maybe and then last clothing item from Sheen so I've got this long pair of trousers so again, the problem with these was that I'm way too short, so I don't even know why I bothered to risk getting them. But these are quite long, which I'll show you now. Um, and then... So this one's nice, obviously, as you can see, it's a bit like tight maybe. Uh, the problem being with this is this might be needed in a bigger size. But this is way too long. <laughs> even with like six inch heels I tried, still not gonna work which is a shame because they're really nice and last but not least i am a sucker for a pair of shoes so i actually saw some shoes in like a little advert that was on facebook and then i thought actually whilst i'm on sheen i'll try and see if there is a, like a pair that is sort of the same so these aren't exactly what i was looking for to start with but i fell in love with these so they've got like your faux fur on the front and then you've got a string that obviously doubles up round your legs like pigs. I can't kind of call it pixie pixie shoes. Um, so then they've got a block heel in there again at their size four. Um, and although my balance is a bit off still, I just fell in love with them and thought I have to get them. So as I said with um, Sheen, I was a bit apprehensive about it. But the one good thing that convinced me to do Sheen um, was the fact that actually... Um, it comes with the clear pay option so obviously you've got clear pay and Klarna so Klarna has not personally been as easy with me um, so I will now stick to clear pay um, but I did it with the four installments so I paid four installments of about 14 pound um, and then obviously the dress that I bought from my friend Chrissy as well so in total all of that sheen stuff was about 60 pound um, it only took like a couple days to come which wasn't that bad it was like I think it was like maybe four or five days maximum um and um yeah it was like really really well packed it all came in just a massive black bag uh, or black packaging bag um and it all came like fine um i found all the sizes were fine as well so i ordered most of it um was in a medium i think all of it was in a medium actually um uh, and yeah it all fit absolutely fine and obviously like i say i have lost a little bit of weight so maybe the sizes were a bit bigger or just on size i'm not really too sure but i think with that i think you've just got to buy it and see what happens um my friend is just in the process of sending stuff back and it has not been the easiest send back but it's been okay um but we'll see how that goes when it actually gets uh, fully processed and see if she gets a refund back and i will make sure to let you guys know so that is it for the clothing haul um i hope you enjoyed um as you can see i'm a massive clothes person i absolutely love shopping um obviously due to covid i haven't actually been shopping for months and months and obviously the stuff that i had bought before was mostly maternity or oversized or whatever so it's really nice to get back into some normal size normal clothing 
Um, obviously now I've got my uh, normal belly back. Um, I'm absolutely, I'm so proud of my of my stomach and how it changed or whatever, but it is really nice to get back into normal clothing. Um, but like I say, if I ever do any more shopping, then I will make sure to put it on here because I absolutely love these clothing hauls. Absolutely brilliant. So as I've said before, please make sure if you like the videos to subscribe and um, give it a thumbs up um, if you want to see more. Um, and if you have any ideas of what I could do next, then please just let me know.